just half a cent of the ball to Josh Risden. He's in. And here he goes again, and he's got options for Connor Payne, who can hit it first time. Back for Risden. Well, it was wonderfully played. And the finishing touch, unfortunately for Western United, is once again absent. Leaders in this side, Daniel Arzani, perhaps sometimes forget he's just 24 years of age and played very little football over the past three years as well, the referee is having a listen and may have another look at this. It's Bacchus who's gone high into that challenge on Bottich. And it's a red card. A red card for Kieran Bacchus. Referee Ben Abraham didn't need another look. Oh, finding Wales who can take a shot and can score! For the second time this season, he's on the score sheet against MacArthur. And it's the visitors that have the lead on the hour mark. Davila. Uli Davila still driving the ball across. And they're back in it. The 10 men of MacArthur equalise through their providential goal scorer, the right back, Matt Miller, with his fourth of the season. Well, of all the people on the Harvey Norman replay, to confirm his place at the top of the goal scoring charts for MacArthur, it's Matt Miller. Western will be kicking themselves that MacArthur through Miller are back in the game. For MacArthur, it's been such a topsy-turvy season. As Noon's ball in for Najjar, controls by Stavila, Jim Drew! And they've done it, Andy Harper. And Jim Drew, with his second goal in his first season of top-flight football in Australia. And it may yet prove to be another winner. As the Bull fans, the young herds, celebrate on the hill. The ten men lead with less than ten to play. Well, the Bull calves on the hill have gone crazy. For Bayou against Miller. Bayou's ball for Milanovic! And Western United have equalised Nick Milanovic the super sub strikes again his fourth of the season that boy has an eye for goal and what an important one that is well Bayou does well